So let's take a look at dreaming big. Now, I know, as we've been talking about this time of year, people start reflecting on everything that's happened in the year that we've just had. And they start looking forward to the year that we're about to have too. But what very often happens is we start to create our dreams, we start to create our visions, um, or we think about the things that we would love to manifest in 2019 or whatever the next year is going to be. And the thing is, very often we allow ourselves to only stretch our imagination like this far. We think about, um, you know, I want to have more money. I might like to earn an extra five or ten thousand pounds, or I might like to change my job, or I might like to move house, or something like that. It's like a tiny stretch, and we think, yeah, I'm going to do this thing, and I'm going to expand myself this much, and this is the thing that I'm going to allow myself to do. The trouble with the way that most people set goals or intentions for 2019 or whatever the next year is going to be is that we use our consciousness. We use our conscious awareness to create. Now, our consciousness is wonderful. Our conscious awareness is wonderful. The trouble with it is it's also influenced by our limiting thoughts, our limiting beliefs, the things that are already held or stuck in our energy. So by doing that and only by tapping into what we're consciously aware of or the thoughts and beliefs that we think we are going to allow ourselves to experience, what we actually do is limit our potential to create something new. We limit our potential to expand and to create something beyond our wildest dreams. We have very, and the reason this happens is because we've been taught to play small. From a very, very, very tiny age, those of you who tuned into the call I think we did on Friday where we were talking about the new paradigm, old paradigm and new paradigm. Old paradigm ways of living are all about living in fear. They're all about lack. They're all about scarcity. They're all about not having or playing small or having just enough. And for many of us, we have been brought up by parents or friends or family members. Oh, look, my glass of water manifested. I love this. Thank you, universe. Thank you, darling. <laughs> See, ta-da! Amazing what happens when you ask. <laughs> um, so, hold on. Thank you. We've been brought up by our friends or family who have also been brought up with that very similar mindset that, you know, don't count your chickens before before they hatch or our parents or grandparents maybe were even brought up during the war where they were living on rations or things were really stretched or, you know, people were very frugal with the way <laughs> that they lived their lives and lived their life experience. And that has all been passed down to us. Now, there are different ways that that's been passed down to us as well, depending how far you want to go down the energetic rabbit hole. Um, but the most obvious way is it's been taught to us, you know, the thoughts and beliefs that have been passed on from our parents or friends, family and teachers who taught us to play small, to only think about what's possible or what other people have experienced and not to stretch ourselves too far. It can also be, uh, energetically, they've now shown scientifically that beliefs and thoughts and experiences are actually passed on through the generations. Now, science would claim that it's passed on through the DNA. Energetically, we know that it's actually passed on through the energy, through our generational patterns, through the energy that's passed on through family lines. Now, that might be a little bit mind blowing for some, but it's also something that's incredibly empowering because using EAM, you can actually shift, change and transform beliefs, thoughts, patterns, experiences that have been passed on through the family. So things that your parents might have experienced or things that your grandparents might have experienced or things that your grandparents' grandparents might have experienced 
are influencing you and impacting your life every single day, even though you don't know it. And one of the magical things you can do with EAM is actually shift and change that energy so that you're no longer playing out the patterns of the things that have been happening in your family. Dun, dun, dun. I'm playing dramatic music there for you. <laughs> That's really big. Like, please, can someone give me a heart or thumbs or something if like, they're like, that's really big and it's really exciting because it means that you also have the power to shift and change it and by changing it you change it for you and you change it for everybody else in your family your lineage the people that are in your life right now your children and generations that come after you and also the people that have come before you in this experience as well which is massive all by shifting and changing your energy so the reason I'm saying this is because I want to invite you to dream big. I want you to understand that some of the things that stand in the way of you really creating that bigger life experience are actually things that have been passed on, however they've been passed on. But all of it is just energy. And that means that in order for you to work past it, we need to find a way to step past the resistances that we're already holding in our experience right now. So. The way that we do that with EAM is by tapping into our vision. For those of you who've uh, been through our free five, our free program called Five Days to Flow, you'll know that on day four, we spend a whole day talking about the power of your vision and visualization because it is huge. By connecting to your vision, what it actually allows you to do is to step past the experience of the life that you've had already. Um, one second, I'll just show you. One moment, let me just refer to my manual. Has anyone seen this? Oh, it's called The Ultimate Self Help Book if you haven't got a copy already. Um, but here is this is uh, a visual of the model that we take people through. Um, this is our bigger program for those of you who haven't seen this called The Energy Evolution. But you'll see, I'm trying to do this back to front. Here, what sits over the top of everything is your vision. And the reason that I talk about your vision all the time is because your vision is the thing that allows you to dream big. Your vision is the thing that allows you to experience way beyond, way beyond anything you could consciously dream up, conjure, conjure up or imagine. <clears throat> By tapping into your attractive vision, and I don't just mean, um, you know, the way that people usually do visions or visualizations or vision boards is like they think, oh, yeah, you know, oh, I want a new house. And they go and find a picture of a house that they like or they find a car that they like in a couple of holidays. And like that's the expanse of somebody's vision. That's all they allow themselves to stretch to. With an EAM, we do it a whole different way. So for me, your attractive vision is actually a work in progress. Your attractive vision means that you step beyond your current life experience into something that is way, way bigger and into something that you could never possibly imagine from the life experience that you live right now. You're probably thinking, how on earth do we do that? So the way that we do that is by part by bypassing, get my words out tonight, is by bypassing our conscious awareness. And the easiest way to do that is to actually allow yourself to get into a meditative state. When you allow yourself to get into a meditative state and you go into a different brain wave, the theta brain wave is a magical place. In there, you're able to tap into another level of our experience. We're able to tap into a whole other level of our life that we don't have access to when we're in our conscious day-to-day -day experience. So by tapping into this meditative state and allowing our brain waves to settle into that process, what we're actually able to do is energetically step past everything that we would experience on a day-to-day -day basis and experience something bigger, something more and something new. Now, um, the thing that's let me, how am I gonna do this? I'm going to draw you a picture. The flip chart's coming out. For those of you who have been on any of my calls before, you will know the flip chart always ends up coming out. So let me let me just get this for you. Hold up. 
just while I'm doing that, if this is making sense so far, please do give me. Um, can you see? Um, do give me some hearts or thumbs or something below because it seems to have gone to sleep and I don't know if anybody is even still here. Who's still here? <laughs> I think they're still on. I think I'm still live. Here we go. Seems to say that we are. If you are asking me questions at the moment, my page is frozen. So I can't see if you are asking any questions at all. But hopefully, oh. Somebody has said something. Okay, fab. So your vision, what stops you from actually seeing your vision? Most people aren't, and what we're talking about here is about this dreaming big, stepping into a whole new reality. The thing that stops us from actually seeing our whole new reality or dreaming bigger than what we've got going on is exactly what I've just been talking about. The resistances that we are already holding in our energy and in our aura. Now, for those of you who've done any work with me so far, um, whether it's inside five days to flow or you've just been following some of our videos on Facebook or whatever, Hopefully by now you would have heard me talk about our aura. Now your aura, for those of you who haven't heard about this, is actually a recording device. Your aura is our electromagnetic energy field that is all the way around you. And your aura is a recording device. And that recording device is recording every single thought, belief, pattern, experience, everything you've ever been through, every emotion you've ever had, um, everything that you've experienced in your life is held somewhere in your aura, the good things and the not so good things. So what stops you from actually seeing your vision is, we're back again with the stick ladies. Imagine we've got all of these different levels of our aura. And out here is your future. Now imagine you're looking through your mind's eye, not these two that you see in the front of your face, but this gorgeous one that sits just here in between your eyebrows. It's called your third eye. Now, your third eye is a very powerful part of your energy system, which enables you to tap into your intuition. This is for people who are uh, clairvoyant or might be able to see pictures or images. It just means that their third eye is quite well developed. We all have a third eye and it doesn't matter whether you can see things visually or not. It is still always working for you. Now, your third eye is kind of like your seer of the future. It's the thing that allows you to tap into um, and reconnect to, read other information and energy that you wouldn't normally see with your eyes, your eye eyes that you use on a day-to-day -day basis. So our third eye is up here. Do that in a different color. Now, what stops us from really using our third eye, if you were to imagine your third eye is trying to look out into your life and what your third eye is reading is all of the things that are held in the different levels of your aura so this is the etheric emotional excuse my handwriting mental and then outside of that we have some others Every emotion you've ever experienced, every thought and belief you are holding in your energy is held somewhere here. If you've got thoughts and beliefs that are supporting you, are powerful, are positive, are leading you forward on your life experience, then this, what your third eye sees and the future that you see ahead of you is a really positive, bright outlook where everything is amazing and full of unicorns and rainbows and all of those wonderful things. However, if the information that is currently held in your aura 
the emotions you're experiencing are like depression, fear, overwhelm, frustration, boredom. You're feeling like you're not good enough, that you can only possibly expand yourself to this place. These are the things that are standing in your way, that you don't have the time, that you don't have the money, that you don't have the fill in the blank. Then what you see in your life experience is exactly those things too. So this is happening all the time. Our insight and what we're looking at, our world, our life experience is going on all the time. The work that we do with EAM is to shift and change what is held in your aura. All of these things got here because of our life experiences and all of them have created an energy imprint in our aura, which we then continue to repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat until we do something to shift, change or replace the information that is held there. Now, for those of you who know the five steps of EAM already, step four is where we release that resistance. This is where we release the resistance stuff that's already held in your aura. Step five is where we then replace. That's when we replace what's held in your aura with something you would choose to think, feel, believe, create or experience. So when we're talking about dreaming big, expanding beyond what we have already experienced in our lives. If we only use our conscious awareness, if we only sit there and think, oh, maybe I'd like to do, you know, maybe I'd like to get a new car or maybe I'd like to get a new job or maybe I'd like to get whatever. All we're allowing ourselves to do is to look at the life that we're seeing already, to dream big, we need to take us from here almost up out of our body and allow ourselves to step past our own aura and our own energy into our future so that we can see beyond all of this stuff and see the future that is out there waiting for us to come and meet it. I really hope that this is making sense to you. Please, can someone write something underneath if this is making sense? So to dream big, this is what you need to do. Step out of our current experience, get yourself into a meditative state, the theta experience, the theta brainwave, take yourself on a meditative journey, meditative journey, and step into your future past the experience of the life that you're having already. Now, by doing that, what happens is you start to see the possibilities that are out there for you. They are way, way bigger than you can ever think of by just using our current life experience. Now, the way to start doing that is to follow and awesome. I uh, just might happen to have one, an awesome meditation that helps you connect to your attractive vision. Now, this is just, this is huge. I could literally spend like a whole day talking about this. But basically what this is, is the limit of our conscious mind. And by tapping into the powerful visualization, we're able to dream much bigger. We bypass our conscious limita limitations and step into the future of everything that's possible. Now, for those of you who are, and I can see some of you on here already, who are already in our 10 month program or um, in the energy evolution, which is our 10 month journey, I bang on about this all the time. I get people to go back and revisit their vision and revisit their visualization on a regular basis. Because as you go on the journey, um, whether you're using EAM, whether you're in the energy evolution, whatever it is that you're doing, as you go on the journey to changing what's happening in your energy, what you'll start to get is more clarity on your vision on a day-to-day -day basis. So as you release this resistance that's in your aura, as well as having done the visualization, which allows you to step forward into the future into something magic, what you'll start as you begin to clear this resistance in your aura and change it for something that's positive, that's supportive, that's in flow, more of your vision will become clear to you in your day-to-day -day conscious experience. 
you start to have those magical opportunities. You start to meet those amazing people. You start to have those chance meetings. You start to meet those people that come into your life. You read the right paper. You see the right thing on the news. You get the right post coming up on Facebook, whatever it might be. And the reason is not that they haven't been there before, not that those messages haven't been there for you before, but because you had so much resistance going on in your energy, you didn't see them. And I'm saying you, we, we all have this. We don't see them. So in order for you to see the signs that the universe is sending to you all the time, you have to release the resistances in your energy. And it is a process. I wish I had a magic button that you could just release it all, all at once, because that would be amazing. And EAM is genuinely probably the nearest thing that you can have to making that happen. But it is a process of releasing the resistance. It's a lifetime of beliefs and thoughts and emotions and patterns and things that you've been holding on to that are stopping you from getting this clarity. And they're the things that also stop you from dreaming big. So how can you, for those of you who know the five steps already, you can use EAM. You can use EAM to obviously release the resistance that's here. Work on whatever's standing in your way. Notice when you're thinking about something that you're, if you're limiting yourself or limiting your experience in any way by the things that you're thinking, the things that you're saying, the things that you're doing, the things that you're, the way that you're behaving. Perhaps you even notice yourself saying things that your parents used to say. <gasps> Who's ever done that? And I, it's, oh, what's going on here? Can't even tell which way I need to sort my hair out now. <laughs> Not that one. Oh, this is hilarious. There we go. Yay. Um, so don't limit yourself. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing at myself with my hair quiff. <coughs> so don't limit yourself and your life experience. Use the five steps of the AM, the Energy Alignment Method, to release the resistances that you notice coming up and you will begin to start seeing things more clearly. You'll start to imagine greater possibilities. Now, the obvious thing that I would also suggest is that you actually follow one of our powerful, powerful visualizations as well, because what they enable you to do, the visualizations that I've created, bypass all of this, switch off your conscious thinking, take you up, out of your head, over here to your future. And the things that you see when we do this powerful visualization are way beyond anything that you could possibly, possibly imagine with your conscious awareness on a day-to-day -day basis. And I know some of you who've done this with me already will probably be able to share some of your experiences, those of you who are watching this live. Um, the magic that happens when you do this is mind-blowing because you're able to see so much more than you could possibly ever think up before. Now, if you are going to be using your sway to help you make decisions about things that you're using in your future, I want to give you a kind of health warning with it, I suppose. Your sway is not a predictive device, okay? The sway that we use within EAM, for those of you who um, don't know what your sway is, your sway is a um, way of tapping into your energy to read what's happening in your energy, the information that's being held somewhere in your aura. What the sway tells you is the frequency that you're vibrating, the thoughts that you have, the beliefs that you have, or the things that might be stuck or held in your energy. So if you're using this way to help you predict things about the future or ask questions about things in the future, the yes and the no that you get isn't necessarily, yes, that thing's going to happen on that day at that point in time in the future. What it means is, yes, your energy is aligned to those things happening in that time frame on that day at that time in the future. It doesn't necessarily mean that the situation will manifest. The way, in, because, and the reason I say that is because there are so many things going on in the universe that are influencing our whole life experience. We're influenced by the planets, we're influenced by other people, we're influenced by the moon, we're influenced by the changing thoughts and beliefs that we have. 
you know, at the point that you're swaying on whatever it is you're wanting to manifest in your future right now, between now and that point in the future, you might have changed the way you think. You might have changed the frequency of vibrating. You might have had a different thought. You might have moved the energy to be on a different pathway in a different direction between now and then. So don't use your sway when we're thinking about dreaming big. Remember that your sway is only telling you what is vibrating in your energy. So hope that's all making sense to you. Um, I really, really wish I could see what is going on on the chat. In fact, just whilst you are, um, I will come to that in one second. I'm going to pop back to that. So any questions you've got about the visualisation, please pop them in underneath. Um, I'm going to pop up another screen in a minute and just come and cross check um, to make sure that I have answered the things that you need. But remember that your vision, dreaming big, is about way more than what you can possibly be aware of in your consciousness right now. So if you would love to find out more about your vision and tapping into your big vision, for those of you who have been around, um, we are running an epic, epic adventure um, in January um, for the Ultimate Self-Help Live, which is basically going to be us bringing this book to life. This is like 20 years of energy work, somehow summarized into 400 pages, but there is still probably another 10 books that are not written inside these pages, um, somewhere inside this head. And at the event, I'm gonna be sharing with you some epic ways, a whole bunch of new content that I haven't shared before including a powerful new visualization where we are going to do this work. We're gonna come out of our head. I'm gonna take you forward into your future. And we are going to be taking a real, clear, amazing look at the things that are coming in the life that you want. We're gonna show you how to dream so much bigger um, than you could possibly do if you were just doing your visualizations or visioning in the way that we would tend to normally do that. So this is going to be a pretty epic experience because I'm not gonna tell you because I don't wanna ruin this prize, but we're gonna be doing something alongside this, which I've never ever done um, at one of our live events as well, which is just going to completely transform even the visualization that we normally share inside uh, our five days to flow it's a whole new level of the visualization which is going to be epic um, and I can't wait to share so for those of you who haven't yet come to register with us for the event in January please 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 do because it is going to be a life-changing experience and if you want to find out more please go and visit www.ultimateselfhelplive.com um, and if you're watching this on the Facebook page later, if you want me to send you the link, just type in the comments, yes, I want U-S-H-L, um, all as one comment, and then just press return, and I will send you a link for that as well. So dreaming big, I really hope that this has all made so much sense for you. Um, and if it hasn't, then please ask the questions, because like I said, 20 years of stuff in here that I am trying to impart. <laughs> um, and I know that I have I have a very big picture way of thinking about stuff. So dreaming big, we want you to create the most epic experience for your life and your future. And the way to step past living a life of mediocrity is to step out of our conscious awareness, tap into our meditative state, step forward into our future and see the magic that we're creating out here because this is so much more exciting than anything we could create from here.